Hello and welcome to Nitherania YouTube channel. My name is Branislav Berec and you're watching another video from the very occasional series of videos in which I do some sort of a live teach for specific board game. Today it's going to be Earth from Inside Up Games. There is a official professional how to play video made for this game by Paul Grogan from Gaming Rules channel. You will find a link to that video in the description of this video. But the reason why I'm doing this one, this video, is the fact that I'm receiving many requests coming from you asking me to cover this game as well. So I'm not going to recreate the same video as Paul did. Instead, I'm going to do some kind of a live teach. So let's get started. So I'm not going to describe the full setup procedure, but I'm going to describe the components. Here's a Fauna board with four Fauna cards. These are in-game scoring conditions and two ecosystem cards, those are endgame scoring conditions. Then each player will get a player board with four leaf tokens of the chosen color. You also have the fifth one, you can place it somewhere nearby. Then you will also get, uh, gain uh, uh, one personal island card, climate card and the ecosystem card. All these cards are double-sided, so you can choose which side of the card you want to use for the game and then that side of the card will remain uh, active for the rest of the game, you may not change it. Then based on this starting ability, you will gain certain number of cards from the general draw deck in your hand, this is your hand, then from your hand you have to discard certain number of cards from your hand to this compost, this is some sort of your personal discard pile, and it's a different discard pile from the general discard. Then you also gain a certain number of these soil tokens. Then leave some space for the uh, grid of cards 4x4, four four, so 4 rows and 4 columns. You don't have these cards at the start of the game, I just use them to illustrate how your tableau will look like at the end of the game. Then the randomly chosen starting player will get this first player token and that token will stay with that player for the rest of the game. And that player will also gain this active player token. This one will circulate amongst players turn by turn. So that's it. In this game, players are building their own tableau, their own island of small ecosystem. Uh, that ecosystem will contain the flora card. Each flora card has this symbol, the leaf with a number that indicates the number of victory points you score for that particular card. And players will also score victory points based on these Fauna cards. They provide the in-game victory points, in-game in scoring conditions, and these two ecosystem cards provide victory points at the end of the game. You also have your own ecosystem cards which scores victory points at the end of the game based on th that particular condition. And then there are a few other ways how to get victory points and then the player with the most points is the winner. The gameplay is very simple, the game is played in turns and each turn one player is going to be the active player. That player places this active player token about one of these four actions. Basically that player chooses one of those four actions, you can choose any action you want and place the active player token above that action. This is the icon for the active player which means the active player now performs this action this is the icon for all other players, those players perform this action. Then all players may activate cards with abilities with this color and this color in their tableau. I will talk about that in just a minute. After that it's the end of the turn, the active player passes the token to the next player clockwise and then uh, the next player takes the turn. The next player would also choose one of those actions other players may follow, activate the card abilities and the game continues like this until one player completely fills uh, the entire tableau of 4x4 four four cards, then you would finish the current round, which means uh, if, the active, uh, if one of the players is the first player, all other players will have a chance to become active players and then the game ends. Now I'm going to explain all those four actions, main four actions in the game. 
Each action contains some icons. Uh, you can see the explanation of those icons at the bottom of your player board, but I'm going to explain each action uh, in, in more detail. And we'll start with this green action. There are two symbols. The first one allows you to plant two cards from your hand into your tableau, and then you can draw four cards from the draw deck. And there is a slash one, which means you draw four cards and from those four cards, you choose one of, one of those cards to keep in your hand and discard the remaining cards in the general discard pile. Not into your compost, but into the general discard pile. Now let me explain how planting works. To plant a card, choose one card from your hand and you can only choose the uh, flora card, which is a card with this green background or terrain card, which is the card with this symbol and the light background, light brown background. You may also have these event cards. They look like this with the black abilities. These can never be planted. I will talk about these event cards later in the video. They will be placed here. They provide one time effect. So these can never be planted in your tableau. Then to plant a card, First, you have to pay the cost. The cost is indicated in the upper left corner of the card and the cost is paid in these soil tokens. Here, you need to spend one soil token. You take the token from your player board, return it back to the general supply, and then you can place the card in your tableau. The first card you plant can be planted anywhere. Each other card uh, again, since during this action you can plant two cards, again, just to clarify, you would have to pay the cost for soil tokens here. So one, two, three, four, and then you can plant the card in your tableau. Each other card you plant must be adjacent orthogonally or diagonally to any of the previously placed cards. So let's say this one could be placed here. Let's go fast forward. Maybe the next card can be placed here because it is adjacent to this one. And for example, if I would like to place another card here because you are limited by four rows and four columns, but those cards are not permanently fixed. You can, you can arrange them any way you want, any way you want. So if, for example, you want to place this card in this space, simply shift your cards make the space available, place the card there. As long as you are still within four rows and four columns, you can place the card, uh, uh, place the card there. The next one would not be able to be placed here because it's not adjacent to any of the previously card. Uh, I can place it here, for example, but I would not be able to place another card here because that would be already fifth column. Similarly, if I would have a card, let's say here, again, I would not be allowed to place another one here or below and into another row because that would be already fifth row of the car. So you are limited by four columns and four rows. That's pretty much it. All inactive players here if you are inactive player, you may take the, the leaf token and place it next to the action so that you don't forget that you are activating this action. Inactive players may plant one card and then draw one card from the draw deck. You don't have to plant a card in order to draw the card from the draw deck. Then after performing the action as the active or inactive player, you may activate all cards in your tableau with the green background, so those would be these, these abilities or this one. When you activate abilities in your tableau, you have to go from left to right and from top to bottom. So in this order, you have to activate them in this exact order. So in this example, this ability will be activated first, then this one, and that's pretty much it because we don't have any other green ability. Then. This red action, this symbol indicates that you, you gain this amount of soil tokens. You gain them from the general supply to your personal supply. So here we have 
five tokens. By the way, these tokens are deluxe components, deluxe tokens, standard tokens are cardboard tokens. Then this icon indicates that you can compose two cards from the draw deck. Again, you can find those icons here. When you compost cards from the draw deck, you simply take them from the draw deck. Without looking at them, you place them in your compost. Your compost is a very important resource in the game and each card in the compost scores one victory point at the end of the game. Inactive players have the option of either gaining two soil tokens or uh, placing two cards, composting two cards from the draw deck and then you activate, all players activate red and multicolored abilities in their tableau. Again, in our example, going from left to right, we would activate this ability and then this one. When you have these kind of abilities, let me put it into the detail. If there is a, in this, in this case, you have to pay what is on the left side and then you gain what is on the right side. By the way, when you activate cards in your tableau, each ability can only be activated once, even if you would be able to pay it more than once. Then moving on to the next action, with this action you gain six cubes. Those cubes are sprouts. Those are these components. So let me take, uh, let me take six. They can only be placed on these sprout spaces. Again, let me go to the detail. Those spaces look like this. So when you get a token, you can only place them on available spaces uh, like this. Uh, let me put it back to my, to my tableau. If all those spaces would be occupied and you still have some sprout tokens left and you don't have any space to place them, you will simply lose those tokens. However, on your player board, there's an action which you can take almost any time. You can spend three sprout tokens and gain two soil tokens, but you can only spend sprout tokens from your cards. So I would take three sprout tokens return them to the general supply and gain two soil tokens. There is a limitation here. If all those sprout spaces would be completely filled and you gain these six sprout tokens, what is not allowed is to take those three tokens and exchange them directly to two soil tokens. You cannot do that. First, you have to place those tokens, you have to be able to place those tokens on the card and only then you may exchange them for, uh, for the soil tokens. However, what you can do before taking that action, you can take, again, uh, let's assume all these sprout spaces are fully occupied. Before taking that action, you can take the sprout tokens from the cards return them back to the general supply for the soil tokens, make the room for the new sprout tokens, and then you can take those new sprout tokens and place them on the now empty spaces on the cards. Then you can take the soil tokens, I've talked about it already in the previous action, then you activate all abilities with blue background or abilities on the multicolored cards. Again, in our example, it would go from left to right, so this one will be activated first, then this one, then also this one, although the, this card has abilities of two colors, you can activate one or the other based, uh, based on the current action. So if you activate blue action, you can activate this ability and then this card. And don't forget about the cards, about your island card and the climate card. You can activate those abilities, in this case we have blue abilities activated during the blue action. You can activate all these activities before or after you activate your tableau. You may not activate one ability, then activate the cards in your tableau and then activate the other ability. That's not allowed. You have to activate both of them before or after you activate your tableau. And then coming to the last action, here you can take four cards directly from the draw deck and you take them in your hand. Uh, as there is no slash like here, you don't discard any of those cards. So simply take four cards in your hand. And then this symbol indicates that you can perform two growth actions. Let me show you the growth action on this card. Uh, let me place these tokens uh, away so that they don't 
so this is the space where you place the growth tokens. The number of growth tokens you can place here is indicated by this number, so in this case three. When you place a growth token, you place them like this. This is the, uh, it's called the trunk. When you place the second one again, it has to be the trunk. And when you place the last one, you always have to place the canopy there. The color of the canopy doesn't matter. All those colors are identical for the game purpose purposes. Uh, it's just the uh, aesthetic purpose. Uh, it doesn't matter which color you choose. All these tokens are worth one victory point at the end of the game. However, if you have fully grown plant, fully grown plant, instead of these three points, you would score this number. So in this example, it will be six victory points. Since this action allows you to, um, to perform two growth actions, if you have an empty card, you can only place one and the other, um, you can only place two tokens. So that's, that's how the growth works. By the way, when you place these sprout tokens or the growth tokens, you can place them anywhere on any card in your tableau. It doesn't have to be that you place all of those tokens on one card. You can distribute them any way you want. Then after activating this action, you activate all, uh, all abilities with the yellow background or multicolored background. And with that, we have covered all those four actions. There's one more type of ability which I want to talk about, this black one. When you play the uh, when you uh, plant this type of card, these black abilities are immediate one-time abilities. So in this case, you would gain four soil, soil tokens and that's it. Yeah, you would never ever uh, activate this card again. These cards, they, these abilities on these terrain cards, again, let me show you in a detail. When you play uh, or when you activate the green abilities, you can activate this one. However, this is another end game scoring condition. This is never activated. It's only resolved at the end of the game. The, the one last action which I want to talk about are, are these event cards. As I said, these cards are never planted in your tableau. They look like this. Again, they also have black abilities. They usually have negative number of victory points. You can play these cards anytime you want. Not only when you are active player, you can also play them when you are inactive player and you can play them literally anytime you want. You always have to do what is on the left side. You have to pay that. In this example, let me show you again in detail. You have to pay five, you have to spend five Sprout tokens and spend this card for growth tokens and then you, get, you gain six soil tokens and you draw four cards. You have to fully pay what is on the left side to gain the benefits on the right side. Then you place the card in this space on your player board. You don't discard them, keep them here because at the end of the game you will score these victory points which may be negative victory points at the end of the game. Then anytime you fulfill the objectives of one of these Fauna cards, during that turn place your, mark, place your uh, leaf token from your player board on the corresponding space next to that uh, specific Fauna card. The first player who achieves this objective, in this example, you have to have six plus, which means six or more Flora. Flora refers to Flora cards. So those are these green cards, not these terrain cards. Flora cards are specifically these cards with the green background. So you have to have at least six or more, you have to have six or more flora cards and each of those cards must contain at least four or more sprout tokens. If you fulfill that condition, it's not here specifically, but let's say you do, you take one of your leaf tokens and place it on the highest valued space next to that card. You will keep this uh, token in space even though, uh, you, even if you if you don't fulfill that uh, condition later in the game, for some reason you don't have enough uh, Sprout tokens on your cards, you don't lose that token. Once you fulfill that objective, you place it there and you never lose it. If more than one player fulfills that objective during the same turn, 
starting with the active player, let's say uh, let's say the green player is the active player fulfilling that objective, then next player clockwise would place the second token, potentially another player if they do it in the same turn would place a token in another space. Similarly, if any player fully completes their tableau, so they have four by four cards, that player will place the leaf token on this space and will score seven victory points at the end of the game. Again, if more than one players, if more than one player does it during the same turn, the player closest to the start to the active player places the token there. Only one player may place a token here and score the points at the end of the game. So that's it. As I said, when any player completely fills the entire tableau, so there are four by four cards, so 16 cards in total, finish the current round and then the game will be over. Then you can use this, uh, this score pad to uh, calculate the victory points. First, this icon indicates that you count all these victory points on the cards in your tableau. In this case, it would be two victory points. So count all the points uh, on the cards in your tableau and that's your score for, for those cards. Then this symbol refers to the event cards. Count up all these numbers on the event cards. That number, uh, the, the sum number could be a negative. Then the next symbol shows uh, one victory point for each card in your compost. Each card is worth one victory point. The next uh, symbol shows one victory point for each sprout token. Then the next symbol is one victory point for each trunk token. So the uh, growth token, including the, the canopy tokens. However, again, let me reiterate. In this case, if this card would contain two trunk tokens, each trunk token is worth one victory point. So this would be two victory points. However, if you have all these tokens, there's number three. So if you have three tokens and the cano including the canopy, canopy is always the last token, you score this number instead. You don't add these number together. Instead of three points, you score six victory points. So that is for these, uh, for these trunks. Then the next symbol uh, shows the terrain symbol. So you, for, for each terrain card, you evaluate the condition on the card. You may score that condition, uh, you may score that card more than once. So you get in, here you score three victory points for each herb symbol in this particular column. So if the card is here for each particular column, those symbols, uh, again, let me, uh, let me take the card. Those symbols are, are these symbols. This is a type of the card. Uh, the symbol itself doesn't have any meaning, but other game effects like, uh, like this one is referring to these symbols. Uh, cards also have this, these black symbols. Let me show you more examples here. Uh, so, these kind of symbols, those are again icons that other abilities may be referring to. Uh, so that's uh, that's scoring the uh, terrain cards. Then one, two, three icons refer to these um, ecosystem cards. You score the first card and the second card from the general display from this fauna board. So these cards are scored by all players in the game. And then you also score your own personal ecosystem card. Let me show you here another thing. Uh, scoring cards, not only ecosystem cards, but other cards as well, may show these icons. They indicate that in order to score these, this card, this is two victory points for each blue ability. Those icons indicate that you also count these cards on your player board. So the island card and the climate card, not only your tableau, but also these cards. So that icon is a reminder that you count those cards as well. Finally, this last symbol indicates that you need to score victory points from this fauna board for all those four fauna cards here. And uh, the player who triggered the end of the game scores seven victory points. 
and then you sum up all those victory points and the player with the most points is the winner. So that's how you play Earth. If you have any questions or comments, I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. The game also comes with the solo variant and also the team variant. You can find these rules uh, in the rulebook. I'm not going to cover them in this video. If you like the video, please click on the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel and you can also support the channel on the Patreon page because videos like this can only be created thanks to the support of the Patreons of the channel. So you've been watching the video from the series of Game in a Nutshell live teach videos. My name is Branislav Berec and hope to see you next time. I would like to thank everyone who has ever supported the channel and especially the current supporters listed on this page. If you too would like to support the channel in creation of videos like this and other video tutorials and other content on this channel, please visit the patreon.com slash